a lot of this information I've just gotten this year. The n- number of historians that are coming out of Yale, Michael Claremont, who is an attorney, did a history research project at Harvard. He wrote a book called The Framers' Coup. They're putting all this information out now that what you've been sold in school, what I was told in school, was nothing but a lie. And every time we turn around, does it ever get any different? 9-11, fast and furious running guns down to Mexico, weapons of mass destruction, which I've brought over in Iraq. Is there ever any time that they're not lying? No. I was shown a video yesterday. It made me laugh. Buzz Aldrin was at an elementary school, and a little girl asked him, why haven't we been back to the moon? He said, well, that's not a very nine-year-old girl question. I can't remember all the words he said, but he told her, that's because we never went to the moon. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah. You got that on video somewhere? There's, uh, I think, two of them out there. One of them slows down his speech so you can hear everything he says. Well, that's an interesting mm-hmm. thing because a lot of these guys, like Oath of Secrecy, do you understand the Constitutional Convention? They were under Oath of Secrecy not to reveal what happened at the Constitutional Convention. All of those guys. And yet they did leak out the information. It always leaks out. Uh, there was one guy who was there and he left. His name was John Taylor of Caroline, who was a senator and politician in the Virginia colony, very good friends with Thomas Jefferson. Two years before his death in 1822, he released his memoirs and he wrote a book called Tyranny Unmasked, describing exactly all the money that they spent. See, the thing that, that happened after the king finally said, okay, I'll give you the land grant. But they had borrowed 18 million gold lira torno, which in today's money is probably worth $4 billion. They mm-hmm. never even paid the Revolutionary War debt. And Madison came back and said, look, we have violated three treaties and we have violated the law of nations. Washington said, yes, things cannot continue on in this train. What is going to be done with these 13 disunited states? Well, that was the reason that they had to pass the Constitution to create a more powerful central government to make the states comply with paying back the debt. All of this was about the debt. And so everybody's taxes in the colonies because now that they had the land grant, they could tax the land. They passed the whiskey tax. They had the whiskey rebellion. They passed all kinds of stuff. The colonists, after the war, ended up paying five to ten times more in tax than they ever paid because of the debt. What, what does debt do? Everybody thinks that war spurs the economy. I'm like, no, war kills the economy. On both sides. I mean, if it takes human labor to build stuff, and then it takes human labor to come along and blow it to hell and then have to rebuild it again, you just lost productivity. You didn't gain anything. Of course, the banking Um, system has set it up so that when you're doing it, you just run up massive debt. And the interest payments on the debt increase, and so therefore the taxes have to increase. And they hide it very well. Well, let's just say for batteries and tires, there used to be maybe five import taxes on tires and that kind of stuff. There may be 20 now. 